Then lastly, let me talk about our goal, the reason why we're running this channel. Our ultimate goal is And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. Everyone, once again, thank you so much for all of your love and support. Our channel has achieved 100,000 subscribers. Yay! I thought this would be a good occasion to reintroduce myself and explain about the purposes and goals of this channel. I will explain how watching this channel will help to make Kyoto and Japan a better place for you to travel, study, and work. And even for my friends who have been supporting me from the start, I will be talking about a few things that I haven't introduced in the past. So I hope you can enjoy watching this video too. So let's Then first, let me start from introducing who I am. My name is Shogo Yamaguchi, born on July 27th, 1994, in a small hospital in Kyoto. When I was five years old, I moved to Imlay City, Michigan, USA with my family because of my father's job. I spent six years there from five to 11 years old. By the way, I had a great time living in Michigan. It was one of the best times of my life. I had a lot of friends and neighbors who were very, very kind to me. And I still remember the home parties, sleepovers, playing video games with friends, and classes at school as if it was yesterday. From there, I moved back to Japan. This time to Hiroshima, where I'll be spending my junior high and high school life. Right after coming back to Japan though, I had some pretty bad experiences of bullying because I couldn't be a normal Japanese. You can take a look at this video for a story about that. But from high school, I finally began to make friends as a member of the International Communication course. It was a unique class in the school with only one class in the whole grade. There were extra English classes and we were lucky enough to visit Canada, Germany, and Austria for school trips. My classmates were all very open-minded, and I wasn't this weird kid that grew up in America anymore. Through my experiences in high school, I learned that only being able to speak English wasn't enough if you really wanted to communicate with people around the world. This is why after graduating from high school, I decided to start learning Chinese and China's history and culture in university. The university I enrolled in was in Kyoto, where I live now, called Dosha University. It's a very nice school, and they accept quite a lot of foreign students too. So I hope you can check it out if you're interested. By the way, the reason why I chose Chinese is because I always wondered why China and Japan couldn't get along politically, even though we have so much in common. I spent one of the best years of my life when I studied abroad in Beijing University for a year. I not only learned Chinese enough to survive living there on my own, but made friends of a lifetime and also met my better half, Harumi. Now, when it was time for me to graduate university, I first joined the so-called job hunting in Japan, just like the other students. It's a system that has existed in Japan since its period of high economic growth. For companies to supply labor force sufficiently by making every young person find jobs and start working at the same time during the year. But I immediately realized that it was something very unnatural and strange. How everyone suddenly starts to wear black suits, dye their hair black, and memorize phrases from textbooks to say at job interviews. I quit job hunting right after I was told at a job interview that your dream will never come true. When I answered that my dream was to achieve world peace and to make as many people happy as possible. When I told this to my boss at my part-time job, 
Shishin Samurai Restaurant, where I worked as a waiter. He offered me a job as the manager of his restaurant. This was my first encounter with Japanese traditional culture and history. I had been studying about four languages and culture through school, but not my own. In order to explain about Japanese history to my guests who visited my samurai restaurant, I started to study history and training in Yaido, the Japanese katana. At the beginning, I did it because I was required to as a part of my job. But eventually, I started to get interested in it and was studying because I wanted to. So simply, I became an otaku. Although I loved my guests and the people working with me at the restaurant, I soon realized that I wanted to do a job where I can use all my time to explain and talk about Japanese traditional culture. A restaurant is a place where people eat food and not talk with the staff for a long time, right? This is why I changed jobs to Kyoto Samurai Experience, where I will be spending the next year and a half. This Kyoto Samurai Experience was a 90 minute experience where you can hold real katana swords and cut goza mats, which are rolled up tatami mat surfaces, and also experience some Zen meditation. It was kind of a mix of physical and mental training that the samurais did. I first worked just as an interpreter, and eventually was lucky enough to work as the instructor, teaching my guests how to swing the katana sword. We achieved number one in Kyoto and number three nationwide for the lessons and workshops category on TripAdvisor, the world's largest traveling site. I met so many wonderful people around the world. And I studied and learned so much about samurai culture. This was a time when I started training in tea ceremony and no theater, too, to further deepen my understanding of Japanese culture. Eventually, I began to think that I wanted to start a new challenge. This is why I changed jobs again, this time to a tea ceremony experience facility called Camellia. I want to make it clear that the environment, the people working there, my guests, and being able to interact with tea ceremony every day was wonderful. Everything was perfect. However, at this point, I couldn't deny nor ignore the voice in my mind saying, I want to start a company of my own and challenge myself even more. I knew it was a terrible thing to do, but I left this company after just Half a year to start the company I am running now. I had a great idea in mind. It was to start a musical show facility with my friend, who I've worked with at Kyoto Samurai Experience. It was going to be a 60 minute show where my guests can enjoy Japanese traditional music in a private tatami style room. I borrowed 5 million yen, hired my friend, the flute player. Rented a building and bought everything we needed to run the business, which were all permanently gone within two months after actually starting the business. Yes, as all of us have suffered from, the coronavirus pandemic started. My dreams and hopes for the future shattered instantly, and I had to do the last thing I wanted to do firing my friend. And throwing away everything we bought that were still brand new. All I had left was the 5 million debt and a family to look after. My life was the harshest ever for about half a year from there. I couldn't find a job because I only worked in the tourism industry and had no other skills, and all my savings were used for starting the company. I had no choice but to become a freelancer. Teaching myself new skills to earn money in order to survive. This is when I started working as a web writer and began this YouTube channel. For a few months, I worked 15 hours a day with no weekends, but I couldn't even make 50,000 yen a month. That's not even enough to pay just my rent that cost 80,000 yen a month. I remember I almost couldn't breathe from all the tiredness. 
and I was so embarrassed and ashamed of myself that I couldn't even earn money to care for my own family. Every time I would remember promising my father-in-law that I'd make his daughter happy. I felt like puking and every night I cried myself to sleep. However, after enduring the pain for about seven months, one of the biggest turning points in my life came. I was finally able to make more profit from just web writing compared to when I was hired at the three companies. And one of my videos was suddenly recommended to many viewers by YouTube. And I was able to meet more than about 10,000 subscribers within two weeks. From there, within just three months, we were able to achieve 100,000 subscribers, all thanks to your help. Now I'm thankful for everything that happened to me and my family that forced us to challenge ourselves and totally destroy the comfort zone that we were in. Now let's start talking about the purpose of this channel. To make long story short, the theme of this channel is explaining about the history, culture, and social problems of Japan and introducing Kyoto in an easy to understand format for anyone who is interested in Japan. If you thought my videos aren't that easy to understand, I apologize. I want to make videos where my friends can learn various things about Japan, from the past to present, as well as the good and bad points. My strongest wish is that the information I provide will be useful when you travel, study, work in Japan, or interact with Japanese people in general. These are some of the strengths of this channel. 1. Being a Japanese born in Kyoto and raised in the United States. 2. Practicing Iaido, tea ceremony, and no. 3. Being able to study from books and movies in Japanese. 4. Living in the city of Kyoto with my wife and kids. I personally am a katana trainee and worked at a cultural facility to teach about samurai. So I do have a lot of samurai and katana related content. But I'm not willing to make this channel into a samurai and katana only channel, but more of a channel that focuses on a variety of things so that you can have a broader image of Japan. I promise you that you will learn something new through every video and that I will not waste your time. By the way, I run this channel with two other very talented members. First is my best friend, Kazu. We went to high school together in Hiroshima, the international communication course I mentioned earlier, and we've been friends ever since. He is also a returnee like I am, but spent two years longer abroad, four years in Michigan, America, and also about four years in Thailand too. He uses his professional English skills to check the scripts I prepare for making my videos, and he is also a very reliable advisor in general. Second is my beautiful wife, Harumi. Her parents are both Chinese, but she was born and brought up in Japan in Fukuoka Prefecture in southern Japan. After graduating university in China, she went to school again in Osaka this time to study what she wanted to and not what her parents want her to. She studied design and she now works as a web designer as she helps to make the thumbnails and the illustrations for the videos. Oh, and by the way, we have our two beautiful daughters and maybe even a third when you're watching this video. So we've discussed who I am and what this channel is about. Then lastly, let me talk about our goal, the reason why we're running this channel. Our ultimate goal is to make all Japan lovers' dreams come true. From when I was working in the tourism industry, as well as the messages and comments I received since I started this channel, I met and chatted with many people who told me how much they love Japan and our culture. They say that they want to travel, study, or work in Japan someday, and that it is their dream they want to grant. Although I am so grateful and honored, 
every time someone tells me that, and it always makes me cry. I also feel a slight emotion of discomfort at the same time. It's because Japan might not actually be the ideal country that everyone imagines it to be. We use the most amount of pesticides on our crops, and we approve the most kinds of chemical food additives in the world. The equality between men and women, announced by the WEF, is number 120 in the world, which is counted as one of the lowest of all the countries. And the ranking is continuing to go down. We kill the most number of cats and dogs, discarding pets and stray animals like garbage. Suicide is the leading cause of death among people in their 20s which is number one in the world, which may be related with the reason why we have the most number of mental hospitals in the world, too. However, because the average age of Japan is about 48 years old, and 27% of our population is older than 65 years old, the cries of the young are drowned out by the voices of the elderly saying, that's how it should be done try to act normally. And in our generation, we endured much harder experiences. That's only a few, and there are many more social and cultural problems that Japan must overcome and change. I want to make Kyoto a more secure, comfortable, and safer place for everyone to visit, study, and live in. But how am I going to make this happen through a YouTube channel? This is the ultimate cycle that I have in mind. 1. My fellow viewers watch my channel and learn about Japanese culture in Kyoto. 2. The profit will be used to introduce restaurants, hotels, and facilities in Kyoto and will also be donated to the groups who are fighting against social problems in Japan. Three. Kyoto becomes a better city for travelers, students, and workers. 4. More people will want to visit Kyoto. In other words, the more you watch the videos on this channel, Kyoto in Japan will become a more exciting place, and you can support your own and others' dreams in the future even more. I will introduce the beautiful places in Kyoto that are having a hard time advertising themselves for both the people working there and those who want a special experience. I've already decided which NGO groups I'm going to be donating to and how I'm going to be cooperating with them. I will also be donating to the Japanese schools in Kyoto so that the students studying there can learn in an even better environment. I already have a long list of people who I want to interview to spread their work those who are working to protect the traditional culture and tackling the social issues in Japan. I know that what I have in mind now is surely not going to be enough to make change in a country, so I will continue to study and connect with people to be able to take more efficient and greater actions. You don't have to trust me if you can't, but I really don't have any desires to use money just for myself. I don't need a car, I don't need a watch, I'm not going to be wearing expensive clothes, and I'm not planning on buying a house either. I don't need any of that. All I want to do is to see more people smiling because of something that I was able to help, and that is it. That is what I want to dedicate my life to. I know that I'll get a lot of criticism from people, especially Japanese, for a plan like this. I'm sure I'll be called a liar, idealist, and a lot of accepting foreigners will do more harm than good. But I believe that the era of division, the them versus us, needs to end now. I know that there will be much progress needed for the world to become one. But I think that we should take on those challenges and not use our energy to push ourselves away. I'll say it one more time. I want to equally share the history and culture of Japan to those who are willing to learn about it and provide a chance for them to visit our country to make their dreams come true. 
I dream of a day that Japan will become a country that I can be proud of with a safe, secure, and beautiful environment that anyone around the world can enjoy. I am responsible for creating a better world for my two beautiful daughters, and I'm not giving up no matter what. In Japan, there is a saying the nail that sticks out gets hammered in. You are forced to blend in and be normal like everyone else. But there are some who also say the nail that sticks out too much cannot be hammered by anyone because you're too high in the sky. And I'll be happy to be that nail. And I'll happily be the example for the next generation that would help to fight with me. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought, okay, Shogo, I guess I can help you out, please hit the like button to let me know. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So, learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. どうもありがとうございました。Everyone, once again, thank you very much for watching this video and welcome to the Omake Talk. So, at the Omake Talk today, here at the end, I wanted to talk a little bit about what else I want to do that's not related to YouTube. So, today, you know, in this video, I talked about what my goals and dreams are of YouTube and what I want to do here in this channel. But、um, YouTube is just actually just one of the things that I want to do. Um, so, as I explained in the video, I originally intended on、um, creating this cultural facility where、um, travelers can enjoy Japanese traditional、um, culture, right? So, that is still one of the really important things that I want to do in my life.、Um, so, making these cultural facilities, what's, it's really beneficial for everyone, I believe. Number one, it's really good for me because I really love working in the customer service industry. I love meeting people. People. I love talking with other people. And also, number two, the people who are working in the Japanese traditional culture industry can find a way to work, you know. So, the problem with a lot of people who really are in love with Japanese traditional culture is that it's really hard for them to earn money from it, you know, because the people in Japan, the population who Um, are related to it, for example, like martial arts or tea ceremonies or anything, right? Are declining. The numbers are getting less and less. So it's really hard for them to make a living. Sometimes they have to like do like a different job as they do their trainings or like craftswork or such. And you know, I want to provide a place where they can work and they can earn money so they can pursue all of their time. They can like. All their time and effort into what they love, right? And number three, the people who visit, visit Kyoto or Japan will be able to experience the authentic culture, right? So it's really, it's really just perfect for everyone. It's great for everyone. And as I explained, I really want to make、um, Japan better for people who are traveling, also studying, and working. So Um, the traveling part, if I make more videos to the Kyoto Hidden Gem series, I'll be able to introduce some places that are hidden. That'll be good for the, the, you know, the traveling part. And the studying part, I'll be donating to schools, so that's very good too. But lastly, the working part. That's really difficult, right? So, that's another reason why I want to do the cultural facilities. I might be able to hire some people for my job so they can work in my company. For example, when I used to work at the tea ceremony facility, I had a co worker, a friend who was from the UK and he was doing the office work inside the company. So, like that, well, maybe not just the office work, of course,、um, but it would be great if I can provide a.、Um, Chances for people who want to work in Kyoto. It'd be great if I can provide the chances for them to work in Kyoto and in, in a good environment、um, that doesn't have 
all the troubles and you know everything they experienced in my previous videos so yeah so that's something that i really really want to do um it does depend though of course on the situation of the coronavirus we'll see how that goes everyone's everyone's looking at how that goes but i don't know maybe when you're watching this video the situation is better i'm hoping it'll be better soon um and yes uh, once i create actually create this facility i would definitely let everyone know and i hope i can actually meet you in person Alright, thank you so much everyone for watching this video. Arigatou gozaimasu!